A sum of money amounts to Rs 9,800 after 5 years and to Rs 12,005 after 8 years at the same rate of simple interest. What is the rate of interest per annum? Well, let us consider the principal amount be X rupees. And we have been given the amount after 5 years. So simple interest after 5 years is equals to the amount minus the principal. So 9800 minus X is the simple interest after 5 years. Similarly, the simple interest after 8 years is equals to 12,005 minus the principal amount, that's X. Now, I have simple interest after 5 years and simple interest after 8 years. If I subtract or take the difference of both of these, I get the simple interest after 3 years. And that's equal to 12,005 minus X minus 9,800 plus X. And that is equal to these X's get cancelled out. 12,005 minus 9,800 is 2,205. And if I divide it by 3, I get the simple interest for 1 year. Right. This should be 3. Now I have the simple interest for 1 year. I can calculate the simple interest for 5 years. So the simple interest for 5 years is, you know, we have 9800 minus X is equals to the simple interest for 1 year times 5. So 2205 by 3 times 5. Right. So 9800 minus X is equal to, if you solve this, you'll get 3675. So therefore, X is equals to 9800 minus 3675. And that is equals to 6125. So we've got the principal, we know the simple interest for one year. And we want to calculate the rate of interest. So simple interest is PNR upon 100. Simple interest for one year is 2205 by 3. It is equals to principal is 6125. N is obviously 1. R is what we have to find upon 100. So therefore, if you solve all of this stuff, you'll get the rate of interest as 12%. So the answer is option C. At what rate percent of simple interest will a sum of money double itself in 12 years? Okay, let the principal amount be X rupees. And we have been said that the money should double itself in 12 years. So N is equals to 12 and the amount is actually the double of the principal. So it's 2X. Now we can calculate the simple interest. Simple interest is amount minus principal and that's X. It is equal to PNR upon 100. P is X, N is 12. R is what we have to find upon 100. This X and this X get cancelled out. What we have is 100 by 12 is equals to R. Right. Now, 2 6 are 12. 2 times 50 is 100. Again, 2 times 25 is 50 and 2 times 3 is 6. So, the rate of interest is 25 by 3. And that is equals to 8 1 by 3 percent. So, the answer is option B. At what rate percent per annum will the simple interest on a sum of money be two-fifths of the amount in 10 years? Well, this amount is actually the principal amount. And the simple interest is actually the two-fifths of this amount. Let this principal amount be X rupees. So the simple interest is 2 by 5 of this amount. And we have been given that the number of years is 10 rate is what we have to find, right? So we have the formula for simple interest, that's P and R upon 100. So 2 by 5 X is equals to X times 10 times R upon 100. This 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out. And this X and X cancels out. So we have R is equals to 2 times 10, that's 20 by 5. Therefore, R is equal to 5 times 4 is 20. So 4% is the rate of interest. So option A is the correct answer. A lends rupees 2500 to B and a certain sum to C. At the same time, 
at 7% per annum simple interest. If after 4 years A altogether receives 1120 rupees as interest, then what is the sum lent to C? Let us assume that the sum lent to C be X rupees. So the principal lent to C, that is the principal amount of C is X. And we have been given that A lends 2500 to B. So the principal amount for B is 2500. And the rate and the time is common for them. So the rate is 7% per annum and the number of years is 4. Right. So it is said that after 4 years A altogether receives 1120 rupees as interest from B and C. So the simple interest from B plus the simple interest from C is equal to 1120, isn't it? Let us apply the formulas and calculate the amount given to C. So simple interest to B is PNR upon 100, that's 2500 times 7 times 4 upon 100, plus simple interest to C is X times 7 times 4 upon 100 is equals to 1120. So 4 times 25 is 100. Here also 4 times 25 is 100. Now take 7 by 25 common. So inside the brackets we have 2500 plus x is equals to 1120. Right? So therefore 2500 plus x is equals to 1120 times 25 divided by 7 and 7 times 160 is 1120 so we have 2500 plus x is equals to 160 times 25 and that is equals to 4000 so therefore x is equals to 4000 minus 2500 and that is equals to 1500 so we have the amount that is lent to c and that's 1500 rupees so option d is the correct answer